Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Dean, All Stars xd 2 k here, and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Today we're talking about the patch 1.17 update, which we should have seen today. But unfortunately, it's not here for whatever reason. So today is Tuesday, and everyone has been guessing that a DLC would drop today, which was the patch 1.17 update. But like I said, it's not here. Now, for whatever reason, we do not know exactly why Rockstar did not release the patch today. So, there will be always next week. And obviously on the Tuesday is their most preferred days to release some DLC content. So I just want to run over a little couple of things. So as you do know with GTA Online at this moment of time, there is some infections in garages, there is problems with your mechanic, there is problems with Pegasus and in general in GTA Online. So as you do know Rockstar did actually patch some of the most common glitches in the patch 1.16 update. Now some of them did turn out to be uh, well patched and some of them did not exactly turn out to be uh, fully patched etc. So yeah infections in the garages are still there now. Rockstar did take down GTA Online for some maintenance however there is still some infections within the garages and stuff. Now especially if you are new to GTA Online and, and say for example if you buy your first apartment or sports car and you're basically stuck within your own garage and you're like hey I want to get out and drive my vehicle well for whatever reason this is not fixed so we will be expecting to see these infections being fixed in the patch 1.17 update because Rockstar are taking their sweet good time on doing this patch and hopefully everything goes well and all the weird glitches and stuff that is happening in GTA Online will be all resolved. So with that said GTA 5 next gen is just around the corner and I just want to touch on something. So as you do know the loading screen in GTA Online it's a, a little bit buggy so it's kind of slow. So for example if you click on online which is an option what comes up at the start when you are loading up GTA. Uh, itself whether it's in your Xbox or the PlayStation 3 if you click online it does take nearly a good six seven minutes just to get into GTA online so the main thing is is going straight to the campaign and then going from the campaign into GTA online so obviously when GTA 5 comes to next gen it will be a lot smoother and it will have greater hardware so the game would run more uh, smoothly for your liking so yeah these are just a couple of things I touched on that we could expect to see fixed for GTA online I mean what do you guys think be sure to let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section if you guys did enjoy be sure to drop a like subscribe and hey let me know in the comments what is the most annoying affection that you've come across but anyways as always guys have a great day and I will see you guys later peace